Hey guys, welcome back to Auction Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been in the LZ Alpha for 1678 cycles now. We have spent the past a few episodes getting into the rocket technology. Indeed, we have been pushing back the bounds of our research where we finally got to the bit where we would like to start experimenting with petroleum fuel sources. This is going to require a small reconfiguration of the area down here and another thing that I want to try and take care of if we go all the way down to the very bottom of our world here we have got a molecular forge I was trying to use this to make some visco gel unfortunately the iso resin is a uh, quite an unstable solid as you can see as soon as it gets to 100 degrees it melts into uh, yeah that's right naphtha there we go it is there it's something we need to deal with and that's quite easy. We're just going to mop up. But I'm also going to destroy this because we're going to move all the way back up to the top and attempt to put it in here with this guy. I think what we're going to do is destroy this gas vent. We're keeping up quite a high pressure just from the oxide that's in here. And that's fine. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm also going to destroy this storage bin and move it to the other side. Move this auto sweeper. But I also know that when we do that, this is a little bit out of range. So I need to uh, put down another another ladder and as quick as that we are able to put down a molecular forge boom uh, we're gonna need a new uh, power source around here that's no problem we can just do another one hey get out of my way thank you very much i think we're gonna put it here with a battery next to it and just like that new power system in place right we will be coming back to that i've got a whole bunch of stuff i want to do with some of the materials coming out of there but first i want to get around to destroying all these things over here because we do not want to stay on the steam technology oh no indeed we want to move on to the petroleum technology and to do that i feel like we're going to need a big old petroleum tank i'm going to do this one here and also it'll just kind of put some holes through for all this ethanol to drain down into the bottom and then i would also like to make a drastic move we're going to drag this down here it's all obsidian and abyssalite so far and i think i want to kind of just do that now this is going to mean that we need to reroute the uh, water here that's no problem uh, you see how we've got this uh, bypass coming from the cold water system i reckon we just move this whole system over to here and send the uh, the hot water up this way this is of course so we can start figuring out how to get petroleum up there we are producing a load down the bottom here in fact we've got enough that we're starting to get a little bit of a backlog going i don't I think we really have enough, but we're going to see, we're going to see, as long as we keep taking out the uh, the overflow, which we're going to do via this pipe here, we're going to jump, jump and take it up, uh, I think using the ethanol line if it's still around, if not we'll just carry on our way up uh, and take it all the way up to the top in this nice new tank that we're building. A little bit of a problem over at the dirt production here. If we take a quick look, we can see that the lumber is backing up. And that is because we've got too much sand, or regolith in this case, in the system. I think what I'm going to have to do here is try to figure out some sort of automated system. If I come down and get this uh, conveyor shut off, uh, we're going to twist that round there and pull this one down here. Because if we have a look at my automation, you can see that all of these are busy detecting how much regolith is down and ready to be used. And all of them... Have have shut their, uh, their their shoots. So if I could take all of these signals and combine them into one giant ore signal, if we get a green anywhere, this will allow some more to flow. I think that's probably going to be the way that we do it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's some, some other trickery that could be used, but that is what we're going to use this time. I finally realized what the ore gates are for. It's so you can not have signals feeding back. For instance, I want to connect these two systems together. If I was just to connect the wires straight away, if either of these two turned green, it would open both of them, leading to all sorts of flooding behavior. And we're not about that. So I'm going to use the ore gate to connect these together like so. And I think we're probably going to actually end up putting ore gates in between all of them. So that should now only request regolith when one of these needs it. <laughs> Damn time's been called. Mrs. has gone and got herself stuck at the bottom of this dig order hopefully she's going to be able to be uh, building all these ladders up overnight uh, she is going to be wanting to sleep at some point away the ethanol goes down into the hole as requested beautiful gonna try and clear this out this is much 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 larger than we actually need talking of i might want to in fact here we go we, we've got the little divot i can then pull this down and around so that all the petroleum will uh, end up pulling down here we'll put a uh, we'll put a pump down and then that will go off to the rocket I spend most of her morning building a ladder up. Still not quite free, but definitely on her way. I think we can leave her at this point uh, deciding. Oh, 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 and she's free. Go, 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 go get some sleep. It, it's kind of what you need, right? 
Back down in the hot mess that is the oil biome. We are currently trying to chill this area down with a single steam turbine. I keep meaning to uh, go ahead and double this out, but it seems to be doing okay. One thing I have noticed is we've got a uh, small concentration of heat being collected up the top here. I'm not overly impressed by the hydrogen being in there as well, but hopefully, hopefully we should be able to open this all up and get a, a more direct access to this hot area down here. I want to cool this down and somehow isolate this off. Off. I'm not sure how we're going to isolate it yet, but I just want I want this area to be slightly easier to work in. It's just going to be a long long term project. I just why do you guys to be aware it's ticking over? Is carpet in the bathroom a weird idea. It feels like a weird idea, but um I've noticed ooh, ooh, we didn't we didn't click that in the right place. I have noticed on the decor overlay that the uh, the bathroom's not doing so well. So we need to try and do that up. What what's causing the problems here? The toilet. The toilets themselves caused the problem. Oh, hopefully the carpet tiles will overcome that. Okay, so with all of these hooked up, I'm going to put this one up by about 100 kilograms. It's going to let a little bit through. As you can see, the conveyor sh uh, shut off has immediately turned on. That's good. It should now be splitting one than the other, meaning that actually we get more lumber through than um, than regolith. Uh, and as you can see, yes, that has totally happened. Okay, cool. I'm not going to turn these all down to about 10 kilos. Uh, and as slowly as all these get go through their stockpiles will end up with almost oh look well there's a bit of wire that we haven't got to uh we'll end up with only a little bit out on display and almost all of it just being held back in storage how do we get to that mm, it's not the best one but we'll, we'll we'll go with that for now Anyway, we started this episode talking about rockets. Let's get back to the rockets. I feel like we could probably be doing this a lot smarter. We need to put ourselves down two research modules to make it five. If we have a look on the star map, you can see that any of these actually have five bits of research to be done. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I don't know. I was thinking maybe some sort of weight saving measures or something like that. I don't think that's actually the case, but ah, here we are. I don't think it's the case that two more research modules would have held us back from getting to our target, is what I didn't think was the case there. <laughs> Last episode, we were having a bit of oxygen problems, and for added security, I've taken the overflow from our steam generator that we've got over here. I've never really figured out exactly what this does. It just kind of uses the hot steam vent. But anyway, the overflow, which comes out about 20 degrees here, it, it really does vary. It all depends on what temperature uh, the, just the whole system is at, and that fluctuates wildly. But it gets priority using the wonders of the bridges here. The second bridge is no longer necessary, but I've just left it there anyway. Uh, this this uh, gets priority of leaving the geyser water to sit inside tanks, which means we should get a bit of a stockpile before. So when this runs out, you know, the, the other one takes priority first and then this one. So this should no longer should no longer run out of water. So there is somewhat of a mammoth mission on the go at the moment to build a, pi a pipeline coming all the way up from the bottom of the map, coming through all the various things that I've got lying around, and to dump some petroleum up the top here. At the same time, I've got Mr. Line coming along and digging out this area. This is going to be the new rocket silo, I believe. Ooh, was that a save? I don't know what that was. I believe this to be the full size that we need. Two more modules for the research, and then one, two, three for the engine and two fuel tanks. Of course, there are plenty of places around the base where we have got quite a large amount of pipe work that needs to be built. It's going all the way from the bottom, as I say, up to the top. There were a few pieces of pipe that we could make use of, but mostly, but mostly we've just been putting a uh, new pipe in because I've also been going around and deleting the old pipe. As you can see, it comes up from the bottom here. I think it's about time that we actually... Oh, I've been trying not to build everything out of obsidian because uh, I'm starting to run out. Actually, we've got a bit more. Uh, I was down into the single figures of thousands but I've been going around and, uh, as I say, changing a few things from obsidian that does, just don't need to be obsidian anymore. Whilst we're down here, quick lead check, 158 degrees. This is getting quite cool, quite cool. I've got a feeling that we're going to start uh, ripping down this little area here. And as I say, I want to try and build some sort of thermal barrier here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, to be honest with you. I just know that I want to make a uh, maybe a vacuum here. We can, if we vacuum this out, that would probably do quite well. Of course, the big problem is uh, the 1100 degrees or the 1500 over here just is uh, 
too hot to try and vacuum out more um, normally. The 500 we should be able to deal with, but literally just on the other side here, it's 800 or so. And even Niobium, the newest metal we have access to, is not resilient enough to deal with that. All right, first petroleum engine down. Beautiful. I've got a feeling we're going to need to put a uh, liquid pipe going into it. Uh, that's why we've got this pump over here. I'm hoping that's going to be fine. Let's have a look and press F6 here. No. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Of course, it goes into the liquid fuel tank. I've seen some other YouTubers using a mod that allows you to just kind of place them down and stack them up before they get built. I, I'm really tempted to install that one, actually. It seems like it would be uh, very good to the workflow. And as suspected, there's the liquid in pipe. Brilliant. Let's just... Uh, I'm going to bring it down and through here for now. I, I just I don't know why I'm not destroying this. I should just wipe this out. But I, I, I feel like this nice little lateral feature in my petrol tank is, uh, is the way forwards for some reason. I was totally worried about the hydrogen escaping out from under here, but there's so little of it. I don't, I don't have to worry about it at all. Big pipes are big issues, I tell you. Just trying to get all of this done has been our mission. We've been about three cycles so far, and all we've done is kind of built the piece across the top here and replaced some liquid bridges. Now we've got the real long push I'm trying to build all of this pipe work going down here. I've upped the, uh, upped the priority of a little bit at the top here, this bit, trying to focus everybody on the same area. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. It's not looking great right now, to be honest. Oh, it's because downtime's been called low. Been looking at the research here, and I think as nice as it would be to get some different cargoes coming back, and indeed the sightseeing module does seem like a particularly tasty option. The different fuels, the different engines are the things that get us further, and that gives us access to more research, so I think it's a bit of a no-brainer to go with the combustion first. I mean, we've only got 46 data packets, but, you know, no-brainer, right? <laughs> Mild panic overnight as I realized the petrol coming through here is a whopping 200 degree as as is intended It was supposed to be 200 degrees down below, but it's coming through a little bit hot So I'm going to run down some cooling liquids from up here You might notice that we are actually running very very thin on petroleum here, but don't, don't worry I'm pulling petroleum up. I was waiting for all that pipe work to go in place I decided to come down and have a look down the bottom here see how petroleum turnover is doing and it turns out we are cool So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a whole bunch of igneous rock and obsidian in here i'm gonna say hey could you pick this up please and then we're gonna come over to this storage bin which is only set up to pick igneous rock and i suppose we could take some obsidian as well and then i'm gonna hit full go hopefully it's only people come it will only be people coming down to grab stuff from the bottom here Okay, Forrest has done the first pickup. He is carrying a lump of rock that is about 1,100 degrees. It will be dumping off heat as he goes all the way along. I'm not sure how much we're going to lose. It shouldn't be that much. He is carrying nearly half a ton of the stuff. That's quite quite an achievement really uh, and then he's going to pop it in there and that should now mean that this is now exchanging heat trying to pull everything up above 400 degrees that's not very hot okay the obsidian is insanely hot though okay let's turn this back off night time has happened Yeah, okay, we are just dumping temperature into these liquids okay this is not the way that i really wanted to do this but whilst we have the uh, whilst we tapped out all the heat down here uh we need to think about another way to transfer do you reckon let's have a look well this isn't really taking the temperature the thing i was going to ask is do you reckon using these window tiles to try and extract heat is the winner but it's just it's just not working like that is it i wonder why the transfer is going so poorly i bet if we replace this oh, no if we I'm not sure how to get a temperature shift plate in there. I think the best way would be to do this, or it's all going to flash instantly into super hot. I don't know. Let's uh, let, let's warm this up a bit more, though. Minor food crises have occurred. Let's see whether the Golden Arch can save us here. Not really. I mean, do I take the... the I mean, puffs are going to die, right? That's, that's long-term thinking there. Long-term thinking. Uh, so I'm going to respond to this. Well, one, by making some tofu. Uh, we don't have a great deal of nosh beam lying around, unfortunately. I have noticed little pockets like this. Uh, and we will, at some point, have to get round to actually farm it because tofu does seem to be quite the standby food but having a look it needs dirt it needs ethanol doesn't that mean it's the perfect endpoint for all the uh, the outputs of this this makes dirt this makes ethanol this is out of power as well i'm not sure what that's about but anyway i'm going to respond to this by trying to send off a cargo rocket yes indeed forest if you can come over here please and we're going to go to this one over here we're going to get some iso resin and some niobium 
hopefully. But even if we get like refined coal or carbon or anything like that, th those are all good. Are we ready to launch the mission? We're not ready to launch. What, 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 what's wrong here? Oh, it's, we're waiting for forest. That's what's wrong here. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a roundabout trip to get to the rocket, but thankfully it's not too much of a long one. Are we just ready to go launch path block? Oh, what? Because of that? Maybe. Oh, wait. We're like on the verge of running out of power here. That's why. How, how has this arrived? Like we've, we've literally got solar power pumping out. We've got a whole bunch of petroleum. Well, I suppose most of the petroleum's up here now. We should probably set up some sort of hydro sensor to shut this guy down. Or not. I'd, I'd, what's the point of having the large tank? I mean, we're not really going to send that many. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. We're, we're working on it. You can see we're back up to 10,000 calories because we made 6,000 calories of tofu. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Some sort of automated clearing system wouldn't go amiss here. <laughs> Okay, Miss Lines come along to clear the way. I'm a little bit worried about what's gonna happen when she does. I mean, like, are, are we looking at a cooked duplicate here? I sure do hope not. I suppose we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, kind of a, uh, annoys me the way that some of these icons will flash on and off. It, I know that it's just responding to the systems around it, but uh, I, I don't know. The, the, the game waits for so long for, for so many other things. Why, why not those as well? Uh, this uh, this dig's taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. As I said, I think we're going to put some sort of mining system, like maybe maybe here, to uh, clear the way. Of course, we, we're probably going to end up clearing all of this area out. Okay, last one is away. Are you ready to go? No. Okay. All because this gantry's not in place. Is that... Is that actually what you're saying here? Oh, it's receiving a bad signal as well. We need to actually power that one. Let's, let's say off of here. I don't know whether that will run like that, but we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. Okay, yep, that, that worked. That worked wonderfully. Bridge went in place and the rocket is up and running. Still making steam. Oh, that is a steam rocket. Yeah, that makes sense why we're making steam there. I was like, oh, it's a petrol rocket. Why is it doing that? I would like to see what the output of the petrol rocket is. I have a feeling it's going to be vast amounts of carbon dioxide. So we've had a, a small bit of damage done when the rocket was being taken off, so we've uh, gone ahead and replaced all those wires with steel. But as you can tell by these bunker doors closing over here, it might be a bit of a deadly repair mission for misaligned and I think that's Mimi over there. Uh, do, doing well, though. I think we gone and got it done before any of the meteors fell. Ooh, that, that could have been a serious trouble. Somehow we've managed to grab a whole a load more food. We've got a bunch of gristle berries being cooked up, some barbecue and some fried mushrooms that we didn't have beforehand. I mean, that that's pretty cool. Not going to stop me working on the other food solution. I want to try and get a shovelful farm on the go. And I think over here is the best place to do this. If we kind of rip down some of these ladders. Ah, oh, this is actually my way up and down. I want to at least get rid of that one and maybe move these ladders over to this. I mean, we've got, we've got this. I want to turn this into a thoroughfare. So, yeah, actually, this is fine. Okay, we appear to be having our spaceship coming back. The doors are opening anyway. I'm a little bit worried, if I'm to be honest with you. Yeah, we just watched the warning come up. We um don't have the power in this set of batteries here, so I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that we're going to lose a set of doors here. Ooh, okay, it made it. That that's good. That's good. I wonder why it we're not getting enough power. Oh, and now now it flows. Okay, I'm not not sure what the difference was. It's always this moment where the star map says 100%. It's on its way back. The doors are open. Everything is saying the rocket should be landing. But you just have to wait all this time. And even when you get the, the notification saying the space mission is complete, you, you still wait. Oh, what's this? What's this here? Little, little animation glitch. That, that's cool. I like, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Where, where, where is my rocket, though? Here it comes. Here it comes. Down we go. All right, beautiful. I didn't notice the color, the color difference between the uh, the flames of the oxidizer and just like the steam that's coming down. Look at the regolith get melted. Oh, that's cool. How hot are things getting here? They're getting quite warm. 158, 159. It's on its way up. I don't know how hot we're gonna get. Oh, look, look, look. Are we melting stuff over this side? What? What is this? What is this? Like rock, rock, um, rock gas, maybe? I don't know. But more importantly, right now, we've got the cargo hold being empty. We've got all sorts of stuff there, some uh, ISO resin. Look, what have we got back there? That might have been a little bit of diamond. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to check all these things, but as you can see, with 25 kilos of niobium, uh, it's kind of in the middle. We've got ISO resin, coal, niobium, refined carbon, and some diamond coming through. Very nice stuff. But what, what do I want this for? Uh, if I come over to the auto sweeper, go all the way down to the end, 25 is not 200. We're, we're going to have to send him straight back out. Straight back out. Apart from we melted a knock gate, so we're going to have to fix that first. 
So we're just waiting for the various fuels to be reloaded. Uh, I've got the steam pouring in right now, and I'm not sure if anyone's actually on uh, loading up the the, th the oxidizer here. One thing I have noticed, solid oxidizer tank. Uh, oh, people are on it. I was about to say, last time I looked here, there was no one on the list, but uh, don't mind. I'm just telling you sort of things. Okay, experimentation time. I've been thinking about it for so long, and I've said it so many times during this this uh, episode already. We're going to do it. I'm going to de deconstruct this storage bin here. We're going to deconstruct this tile underneath, and we're going to see about putting a new temperature shift, pl a shift plate in here to transfer the heat out of this. Look, it's at 1,000 degrees here. Why are we not hot here? Also, it's, it's causing me issues because we can't get the flow going. It's, it's causing me some big issues. We've got some petroleum. Is there any, like, there's some molten lead here. That's causing me some problem. And then also, this crude oil plug that it's just not flowing it's just not flowing and there's too much here to mop up so i don't really know what to do about it so obviously i'm going to try and turn everything into um sour gas that that's the bad scenario here if that's actually what ends up happening that's that's going to be very bad okay here we go taking out that last oh, look at it flashing we've got no sour gas going though i'm kind of okay with that let's have a look at what's going it's just crude being turned into petroleum the petroleum is piling up okay let's grab this and put that in there and see what happens the temperature of the airlock is going down the automation wire is following suit i'm a little bit scared about this uh shift plate if i'm to be honest with you we'll, we'll find out what's gonna happen okay nothing turning nothing flashing into sour gas yet this is good i'm just gonna have a quick look we got a little bit there but i don't think that's being added to uh not not here anyway it seems to just be petroleum and crude oil flow now we're just gonna have a look uh, see if any bubbles up. I, I could definitely see something bubbling up at some point. <sighs> Mimi, you are quite slow at this. It has to be said. You are quite slow. And now, boom, all of a sudden, we're getting sour again. No, it looks like it's just petroleum. I'm okay with this so far. I am, I am still a little bit worried, but so far, so good. Okay, we're slowly just turning all this crude oil straight into petroleum. Is that the point where we start having trouble because there's no more uh, thermal mass to dump the heat into? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. Definitely need to try to get rid of that molten lead. I'm not sure how it even got in there, let alone how to remove it. Uh, it's, as soon as we get rid of it, I've got a feeling that will remove some of the pressure. How is this crude oil doing? Uh, we are losing the amount quite a lot we've got 1400 there ooh, 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 look, it's all moved over here the, the the spread is interesting i wasn't expecting it to do such weirdness can we can we mop this too much liquid okay fair enough well it's it's kick-started the flow and that that was my intention now i'm wondering whether we need to move this thermo sensor to like on top of the shift plate or something but i, th I think we're okay it's it, it's in the the shift plates thermal range so it should be fine it's a three by three area right okay my current want to know is about to find out when we tip over to 403 oh, in fact we got a little bit further to go but when we tip over and the door opens is this shift plate actually able to grab temperature from anywhere else i hope not i hope not i hope it can't grab it from the open carcass of the door uh it could be a thing though we'll find out it looks like, yes, it is self-regulating. The door's open, the temperature goes down, the door's closed, temperature goes back up. All right, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, the rocket's just cut. I was like, what's that weird noise? Rocket's back. That means we get this whole bunch of material. Are we going to send Forrest Stray back? Maybe. Though, at the same time, this guy is currently ready to go. So let's go over and have a look. He says destination beyond reach. Let's have a look. You're trying to go up to this guy. Why are you beyond reach? Because people still haven't delivered any oxalite. Is that what we're being told? That That's what we're being told. Let's crank that up. In fact, let's make sure people come along. Wow. Mimi came along and did it all in one go. Uh, missing gantry. I disagree, sir. I disagree. Uh, oh, and so it's because they've been retracted. Now these guys are going to open up. Everything's going to fall down. Hopefully we're not going to have any troubles with burying. Let's have a look and find out. Down it goes. Down it goes. Beautiful. Uh, it's good enough to get firing so we don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, I wanted to know what yeah car, look at all that carbon dioxide being left behind ridiculously hot 1400 degrees whoa we might be having a bit of a trouble here uh door should close as long as everything's not been melted uh, a few things may have been melted but 
doors should now close. And there they go. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, we, we've got another another research mission on the go. Oh, that's nice. Uh, the next thing I want to do, the next thing I want to do. Ah, oh, no, nobody's eligible yet. No, I thought I thought we had someone else. Uh, Greg, wasn't it wasn't it going to be you? I think it might have been. If we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we carry on along here, you can. You can you can take this with your morale, right? Yeah, you don't have the point yet, but you're you're one away from becoming my cargo shuttle um, cargo shuttle pilot. As well as extending, we also need to upgrade this rail to steel because at the moment it's probably going to get melted the moment we fire a uh, a petrol rocket here. But I'd also like to get rid of that because um, we're I, am, are we melting our ISO resin yet? No, it's still at minus uh, 14 degrees. But I'm worried that if it gets up to 20, uh, up to 100 degrees, it will melt, and I, I want to get rid of that. I, d I don't want that to be a thing. Oh, Greg, what have we done to you? You're, you're exhausted. I was like, I am gonna follow this guy around and see what happens to him because we're waiting. We're waiting for you to get one more skill point, and that's gonna be cool. But, but, but. Uh, why are you falling over and falling asleep? Why have you got a sore back? What's been going on with our boy Greg here? I think we might just have to follow him around for a little bit and find out what's going on. I mean, he's going to dock his atmosphere suit as well. I th feel things just seem a little off with him. I'm going to follow him around. and uh, when, I, In particular, I want to see what happens during downtime. Does he, does he go to bed properly? Does he dock properly? Do things work all right? I don't know. Given what we've just seen, I should imagine things are fine. Also, a bunch of... Bunch of stuff left over the floor in the bathroom. Can't be having that. Casually, I really enjoy just watching individual uh, duplicates wander around and do their jobs around the base. It's a little bit hard to uh, fill the vocal space for a video whilst doing so. So sometimes I just kind of watch them around without doing too much on uh, too much of the commentary. Uh, is that saying that it's okay? Should we, should we have a look? What blueprint have we got? I'll take your fungal spores, I suppose. I mean, a suit wearing seven. And we, we don't have room for you right now. Though I do want to point out over this side. I've been slowly clearing off all the ethanol area. If we can figure out how to compact this wiring just a little bit more, and I'm almost seeing that we can rotate it 90 degrees round, right? Turn this out, turn this ore gate facing this way, and then these guys come up over here. Yeah, that should actually be fine looking at it. Uh, when we've done that, we can then get another, another floor on here. We've got the oxygen line ready for it. It should be fine. We were having food issues, but you know, what's, what, what's three more duplicates? What three more duplicates? How is he hungry? Go, go get some food, buddy. Go get some food. So he's used the outside toilets. That's a little weird. He was all the way down the bottom of the map, though, so I can understand why this one might be closest to him. So now he goes to sleep, and then in the morning, we get to see whether he goes to get some food or not because that that's that's the schedule I've set up so they can if, breakfast everyone survives on breakfast even though I myself don't eat much breakfast oh Greg no wonder you didn't get any oh wow did you guys see that oh that auto save oh that auto save it stills the follow cam still I'm not sure what that's about why why that would be happening this guy's a little bit slow maybe he doesn't get to get food yeah no no that's all good hmm I wonder what that's about then Okay, we've been waiting for Greg to go ahead and get himself all the skill points, but it turns out Jelly has been sat on top of the right skills for all this time. I might very well just let him have all of that. Beautiful, wonderful, uh, great, great. Let's get, let's give him the uh, where, where are we? Rocket navigation helmet. Beautiful. Uh, as soon as Greg can, I will get back to that. Another thing that I'm going to do is go around and change all of the permissions on this door around the research area here because people keep stealing this dirt. That that's no good we don't we don't want that so i'm gonna let forest through we're gonna let greg through and we're gonna let jelly through jelly might very well steal the dirt for other things but that that's all right i suppose you're wondering what the yellow alert's about i want this gantry built i really really want this gantry built it's the only thing stopping getting this conveyor rail moved further across and with, don't you know we're waiting for a rocket so uh, we kind of need to get this done much much quicker than that let's have a look 64 percent. they are on their way back oh Thank you, Mimi. Could you, could you get the rest of this conveyor line done now? So I want to miss a... Oh, 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 miss can't get out. I see, I see what I did. I locked her in here when I was uh, redoing all the door permissions. I mean, that's what you get for coming in and trying to steal all the dirt, miss. Get on out of there. I mean, we're going to have quite the mess to clean up now, right? Uh, as we come on over, the mess gets deposited when she takes her suit off. Yep, there we go. Where is this going, by the way? Oh, there's a fair bit down here. Let's deal with that. 
Okay, that's the last bit of conveyor rail. Let's cl uh, get this destroyed. Thank you very much, Mimi. She was going to walk right past it. I saw that. I saw that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I've asked for some bunker tiles to get built up here because we keep dropping regolith down below, and it's uh, not convenient. Not convenient at all. That's not accessible. Why is that not accessible? So anyway, something about sending Jelly off to the Unknown Reaches. I guess he's just going over to the Carbon Asteroid again. It seems to be a fair... Are we not getting information? We are getting information. It seems to be a fair target. We are not really getting that much stuff out of there, and it is re uh, replenishing itself fast enough. I suppose we could, could at some point, once we've got through all the steam over here, which is uh, starting to become a real possibility, once we've got through all that, we could probably lower this down here and start thinking about it becoming a petrol-powered rocket as well. We could probably get lots more per go then. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. All right, Jelly, I do believe that you are fully fueled and ready to go. So the moment he gets in here, we should see all the, uh, the gantries retracting if we've got power. We've got power. Gantries are retracting. Doorways do be opening. It takes a little bit of time for the bunker doors to be open. It's a shame that you can't, like, turbocharge them to make them faster. Like, we are not playing at the standard slow... Look, 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 at, the, look at the actual slow rate. Look at, look at how slow it is. Seconds, entire seconds off your... Why did that come down? I don't know, may, maybe I'm imagining something. I thought I, I thought I heard a noise and saw a, a strip of carbon dioxide, but I don't see, I don't see any meteor damage, so we're probably okay. All right, away we go. The rocket is off. Um, it's uh, taking a little while to get going. Well, that's because we're on the wrong speed. Taking a little while to get going, but that's fine. I'm wondering if we're ever going to get to the point where we melt some of this regolith down here. Look, there's something going on over here. What, what is that, ground? it maybe melting i'm not sure exactly but we're gonna just uh be like cool that that's cool i mean there's some gold amalgam maybe that's what we're, we're melting i don't know what temperatures things melt out here surely surely you can do something with the temperature coming off the rocket the uh the algae's looking a little melty there look at that what's what, what's that about what's that about what time do, what temperature does it does it melt at Turns into a dirt, 125. We're, uh, we're currently at 119. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder. Do we dig it out? I, I might just watch it turn to dirt. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Science rocket. Science rocket. Welcome back, Mr. Forest. How are you doing? You're not looking happy. I've got to be honest with you. I'm not looking happy. Let's, uh... Let's get in there and have a look. See, I want to. I want to see what you're suffering. You got a full bladder. The shocker. You've been on a space mission for a very long time now. You seem to be doing okay, though. You seem to be doing okay. Star map, but says we completely emptied it out. Look, we got some fullerene trace amounts there. Iron, copper, obsidian. We can get some smooth hatches though over this side. I think we need to send this guy back out, right? Uh, let Let's launch that as soon as we're ready. I mean, we're not ready. We need. We need fuel. As soon as we're ready, though, we're sending that guy back out. Get all the data banks. Oh! Oh, evacuator recharge. Look at this. I suppose we're going to uh, bring that over here. This is this is the closest one. Let's do it. Recharge. Bam. Oh, Forrest got back in the command capsule. I actually have another task for you, my friend. Get get, get out of there. Get out of there. We're going we're gonna, to we're send you... Uh, are you going to go down and grab some stuff? Yes, yes, yes. Data banks, though. It's not quite what I'm after. Okay, so the vacuolator has been recharged. The thing that I wanted to do with Forrest was pop him in here. All right, buddy, let's let's see where you're at. What what's what's your what's your two, as they say in local parlance, somewhere around here. I was kind of hoping you were still working on the research, but that's fine. I really just want to see what he gets. He is the man who is doing all the research, going out on the for on the forest, no, on the rocket. Let's see what he gets. Okay, the, it started up. We're ready to go. What's in progress? Complete the normal process, and he got himself. Diver's lungs. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think that's probably one of the better ones to get. I think the uh, the super strength is the best, but diver's lung, pretty good. Okay, and with that, we're going to go uh, to the star map. Show me that star map. So we've done the metallic, and we've done uh, this. We've not done this, and uh, still too far for the rocket, despite having everything we need. Hmm. Oh, look, look. We've got the weight penalty has just pulled us below. Well, let's send him back out to this one. Ah, that's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. Let's send him back out to that one. As soon as, as, soon as he gets out to the rocket. 
Cargo Rocket returned, and also at the same time, uh, where, where is he over here? Greg Williams has gone and got himself his rocket piloting. That's beautiful. I'm waiting for Forrest to come back so I can give him his rocket navigation because that's one thing he is missing. And another thing that I'm doing is slowly building up the petroleum rocket underneath the uh, cargo bay over here, the cargo rocket, so that we could just build that up and then maybe put an extra cargo bay on here. This is kind of what I'm hoping for. We'll rip these down. But until that actually happens, Destination Beyond Reach, we're still waiting for fuel to come in. Uh, we're just going to keep sending that guy back and forth, basically. I've got to say, looking through the available options for our cargo rocket, this one seems to be the better one. Uh, even coming up here and having a look. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling it. Like... I'm not feeling Even this metallic asteroid. Yeah, iron and copper, great. Iron falls from the sky. I'm not that bothered about it. The fullerene would be nice, but we can make fullerene from niobium, gold, and petrol or something like that. Let's go and have a look at the uh, at the, the, the molecular forge over here. Uh, it's niobium and tungsten. You see, it's really easy to make. Super cool it is the fullerene, gold, and petroleum. Okay. Ah, fullerene is not thermium. Oh, I see. I see. I've made a mistake there. Okay, so maybe, maybe that fullerene is important. Oh, <laughs> I've just looked at the number we've got under here. I think y yes, we've got over a million mathic rock. Uh, this, this is why I am slowly but surely working on a shovel farm over here. But that's what today's episode was supposed to be about. No, actually, it's turned into how to get niobium. I think I'm going to swap out Jelly for Greg because Jelly is an integral part of the delivery system in this area. So we'll we'll let him get back to it. Really, we should phase him out in honor and uh, and replace him sorry with robots that should be relatively easy to do we've got this whole sweeping system down uh we could probably do it with some more power systems as well perhaps expand out the uh the solar farm on the other side of the gravitas building at some point possibly next episode we'll be going into there oh cargo rocket away goodbye was it greg i think it was greg goodbye greg have a good time hope you have a good trip really i am underutilizing this steam here every time i watch it go up i'm like i know we can take take advantage of that uh, i missed it coming in but the rocket is back up oh, guys please stop uh, i what i want to actually do is deconstruct these yes indeed it's time to move on we have got ourselves some nice little uh the beginnings of a nice little petrol rocket down below here i really want to move this uh oxidizer tank or build a new oxidizer tank here but the landing platform is in the way so let's uh let's get rid of that shall we of course the real purpose of this upgrade is to see whether we can get extra cargo bays onto here we're not getting enough niobium every flight and we, we need more we need more if we were getting 25 with this maybe we're going to get 75 with the stack of three we can hope Okay, I did the, just a quick bit of yellow alert tagging just to see if we could get a lot of people coming along to deliver this ni uh, not, not niobium, this uh, oxidizer. I'm hoping that now we should be able to see that this guy not only has fuller range, but also can carry a much bigger cargo package. That's what we're trying for. Greg is in there. It turns out people are dropping off very small amounts. Well, let's leave him to that. Let's see what we can do. Still not even over to there yet. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, man, would you believe it? Total thrust we can generate 36,000 kilometers. The weight penalty, 36,000 kilometers. Okay, that seems a little bit excessive. If we bring the uh, the mass penalty down to what, what would be a third of that? Man, if only we could get down to about here. We're going to have to take one of these cargo holds off. That's a little bit unfortunate. I think the easiest way to do this will be to move the command capsule down. It's going to take a little bit of a re redo of the wires, but that's all right. Also, the gantry will need moving, but none of this is unsurmountable. All right, let's get Greg out of there. That's probably quite important. Okay, so we've ripped down the cargo bay. We've put down a new command capsule in its place. Spirit of Interstellar Space Station 14, I think that is. Uh, is this one doing the Wanderer? Okay, so we swap that over to Spirit of Interstellar Space because this one is the Spaceship 3. Uh, I'm now asking for all of this to get ripped apart so that we can use the uh, atmosphere dock that's it, uh, atmosphere suit, sorry, that's in there. Put that in the command capsule. Uh, and then we should be ready for a new mission. We probably need to rip this gantry down at some point as well. Okay, Greg Williams, you still come. Why can't why 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 is the weight penalty the same? I've I've stripped down my rocket. How are we how are we the same? What what is this? Oh no. 
Well then how to get two cargo bays going? An extra petroleum fuel tank, that, that's how we do this. I had to give in and go look on the uh, oxygen not included assistant rocket calculator. I've just got to say, I'm just going to share a moment with you guys here. Why don't games teach us games anymore? Why is it we have to go off to uh, wikis and, and stuff like that and we, we don't... We don't just get to learn from the game anymore. We have to use the internet as well. I, I, I don't know why that's a thing. Why why we can't be taught by the actual game system itself. Well, anyway, after that little little complaint that things are not the same as they used to be, uh, where are we going to send this guy to? Let's go back to the rocket list. It is, of course, now the Wandering Beauty. Are we going to go all the way up to the rocket? Man, look at, look at the advancements we've made. But all I actually really want to do is go here. <laughs> Two cargo bays up to the first asteroid. Uh, let's launch that mission as soon as we can. Of course, current we are missing Greg wherever Greg is at and he doesn't have an atmosphere suit. It's down the bottom here. Okay, here comes the man himself, Greg Williams, going to get into his rocket, ready for his cargo mission. Unfortunately, we don't actually have an atmosphere suit in there. Still seems to be taking its time. Can we uh, can we speed this process up? Oh, we totally can. Look at that. If we go over there, Dr. Captain Subs now on that beat. Why, why is it always him and why is he always down here? I think this may mean we're moving this petroleum engine down one. In fact, I've begun to bring in the line of obsidian insulative tile down here. I don't know whether this is... Is where we want it to be it's just this is where a door was so i was like okay we'll just draw a line across here we're gonna end up losing most of this as a pristine area but i think we're fine with that i definitely just want to move this guy down one more so we get 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 some, get some more research we're here for the research can we please just get some research please oh 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 and we're away launch path blocked i don't believe you there we go it's fallen and away they go i am uh, quite interested in whether we can keep putting stuff underneath where the rocket goes look at this i've just like burnt a whole bunch of chlorine and carbon dioxide up here oh that is cool there's all the bleach stone i melted the bleach stone and look my algae's turned to dirt oh that's crazy that is crazy but yeah there must be something we can do with all this heat here really there must be why didn't this gantry get pulled back why did the gantry get broken ah uh, oh i didn't hook it up to automation wire ah oh, the automation wire is why oh <laughs> i'm not sure how to tell clay this but if i had a crack in my uh engine bell like this i'm fairly sure it would explode i'm fairly sure so i'm bringing down the line of um um, the insulated tiles down here because we can fit uh, as I was gonna say but didn't during that thing to one solid oxidizer tank we can add two liquid fuel tanks uh, three three in fact two more than the one we've already got to then still be able to power the petroleum engine so that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do for this research engine we're gonna have uh, one solid oxidizer three liquid fuels and an engine Industrious team absolutely nailing this area over here. Once all three of them get together, they're all uh, very, very concentrated in their attack and things just seem to get going a lot faster when they're spread out over the whole area. Maybe, maybe it's just my human brain playing tricks with me going, yes, yes, it's happening fast over here. Um, whereas when it's all spread out, it, it doesn't look like it's going as fast, right? But it, it could very well still be. It could very well still be. But I assume the same amount of, getting, of work is getting done whether they're together or whether they're spread out. That, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. What? Why, why, why did they all... Oh, I know why. It's because I've hooked them all up to this line, but there's nothing telling this guy to pull back whilst this is... Look, look, this is open as well. Oh, no. That's why. Oh, we've got this on the roll. This is Spaceship 2. This is also Spaceship 2. It's supposed to be Wanderer. Ah, oh, there's so much stuff to fix now. So much stuff to fix now. That, that could have gone a lot better. <laughs> But more importantly, what is going on with the... There we go. The outflow going down. What have we got? We've got ourselves a whole bunch of refined carbon, diamond, coal, niobium, iso, resin, more niobium, more refined carbon. It's going to be amazing. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff down here. Maybe we need to actually put this in some sort of storage device, but like, I kind of like it just being down there. Oh, and a max saxophone, mangled saxophone. Look at that. Okay, we know where that goes. that's going. Okay, last thing we're doing today, because, wow, well, we've been going for a long time. Sorry about how long this episode has been going, but I think you guys are kind of okay with it. We're going to stick Forrest inside the research machine. We're going to open up the star map, and we're going to send him off to this rocky asteroid, hopefully to do all of these in one go. That's, that's my plan. That's what I hope will happen. Okay, here he goes. I'm assuming Commander Forrest. That should be good enough. Now the launch path is blocked. Everyone's... Stuff should be pulling back. Why Why? Why are they not pulling back? What is wrong here? Uh, let's have a quick look at the automation. Oh, th this is what's wrong here. We're about to lose a whole butt done of, um, of, of gantries because of it. 
I, I think I'm all right with that. I can live with that. We definitely need to get this automation automation wire put in place. Did it just say iron? I don't want iron. I want steel. This is probably what happened last time. Okay, doing the best we can. This rocket is too big to even fit on the screen. Let's do it like that. We're going to have to go with the screenshot mode. I suppose that means I can even put it in the middle because even though we're on the edge of the map, we get to look all the way over like this. If I pull the screenshot back, we don't. That's a, that's a shame. Okay, what, what, what are you waiting for, my friend? What are you waiting for? You should be able to just go now. Just go, go go. Is it because of the building entombment? I really thought you were going to be able to blast your own way out there. Let's dig that top one out. I've got a feeling it can actually just blast through two layers. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Is it, is it really that? Is it really that? Well, if nothing else, it lets the uh, the old automation wire up here get built. Bam! All the gantries come back. That's good. That, that's enough. That's that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the gantries. Okay, beautiful. Let's uh, full screen this again. Look, it's huge! It is huge! And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where hopefully, hopefully we're going to upgrade our way past the petroleum rockets. Top tip for anyone playing with petroleum rockets, you can have three liquid, uh, liquid fuel tanks, three petrol tanks to your one solid fuel tank uh, and i will see you next time when we're going to play around with the next level tech bye